I am one with my God. My God is with us, all of us, at all times and in all places. I'm Jason Stanton, and this is the fourth post for Bible readers. It's really hard to know exactly how many people are participating in this group as it's posted in multiple platforms and people see it at different times and some people may watch for a minute and then move on, but it seems like there's a bunch of us who are ready to become Bible readers. Judging by engagements and total minutes watched, maybe over 150 of us actually. I think it's gonna help to know that you're not trying to do this by yourself. Christians have always known there's grace and strength in community, and that's what we're trying to do, build community through reading the Bible. Yesterday, a few shared a little about the baggage you bring to Bible reading. I resonated with just about all of it. I get frustrated when I try to read it because it's hard. I get distracted because it's not always a page turner. And this, I often have a lack of faith and I fear reading might support that or challenge it. I feel all of that too. And when I really think about that kind of baggage, I mean, just think if that's how a relationship with a friend felt. Like, yeah, we're going out for a drink tonight, my friend and I, but boy, do I get frustrated whenever I talk to her. And we're going to a place with lots of TVs because whenever we try to get together, I get distracted because she's really not a page turner, if you know what I mean. And actually, maybe I just won't even go because part of me already assumes she's just going to disappoint me and spending time with her might just confirm that. Wouldn't that relationship sound kind of awful? <laughs> part of how many of us are going to make this habit of daily Bible reading work is we'll need to bring the right attitude to our time in the text. For example, we can't expect for the Bible to entertain us like many other books we read do. It's not a novel. And if we sit down to the Bible with the same attitude we have as we sit down with a mystery thriller, we're just going to be disappointed or bored. We also can't read it like it's going to be a recipe book, as though it's just going to tell us what to do and how to do it and how long it's going to take for this and that to happen. It's not a Christian owner's manual kind of thing. Reading the Bible requires its own version of our attention. And for many of us, we haven't discovered what exactly that means or what it feels like. And you'll only develop this spiritual attention by practicing. And we will practice together and grind through the bored moments together and work through the frustrating and scary moments together. So the first thing I wanted to talk about today was our attitude as we read. Bible reading takes a unique attitude. The other thing today is to talk about your attention. You may remember I said you'll need just a few things to become a Bible reader, your Bible, a journal, and your attention. So today I want to talk about the greatest tool ever invented by humanity. We are living in the midst of the greatest information revolution ever. So it may not always feel that big of a deal, but there is no way to overstate the significance of the phone. And yet, as helpful as the phone is to provide answers and directions and connect us to anyone on earth whenever we want, it's also the most powerful attention diversion device ever created. By design, anything you try to do on your phone will be interrupted by a notification, an alert, a text, a call. It buzzes, it dings, it glows, all to grab your attention away from whatever else you were trying to do. I have a Bible app on my phone. It's handy, often, but I will not be using that digital Bible to read every day because Bible reading will require my spiritual attention and my spirit gets pushed back down under the surface of my life whenever I hear my text sound or see that a call is coming in. As we try to create a habit of daily Bible reading, that habit will not include our phones. In fact, my advice is to leave your phone elsewhere from wherever you are trying to be with God's word. Okay, so your assignment today. Read on in the Gospel of Luke for four minutes. Your journal entry prompt is this. What is my morning routine? Get as detailed as you possibly can, assigning an amount of time for each and everything you do most every day. And then I want you to explore in your journal how you feel about that routine you just wrote down. With that amount of time given to your shower, your coffee, your workout, your chat with your spouse, what do you do? How long for each part? How does that feel? 
And don't forget to include when you pick up your phone and how much time you, de dev you devote to whatever it is you do on that. What we're looking for is to maybe find an opening or two in your morning routine where Bible reading could fit. I am one with my God. My God is with us, all of us, at all times and in all places.